Hey everyone, it's Erin Flota here and I am here with a watercoloring video. So I got the Let's Make Art subscription box. It was recommended to me by one of my patrons to just like take a look at. I was talking about stuff that I wanted to do creatively outside of making content and uh, this was recommended to me. So I thought that this would be a perfect time for people who are quarantining and would like to uh, get a little bit creative and all the stuff is sent right to your door. I did the May box. I, I actually signed up for a three month subscription, so keep, <laughs> keep tuned for more videos. So I signed up for this May box. It was the first one that I received and um, it comes with uh, graphite paper and this little, and this little postcard that you can do. And then it comes with four different prompts that, uh, tutorials for watercoloring. So it has this peony and you have kind of the outline of the peony and you can use the graphite paper that is included to help you make that outline. And then you do the watercolor inside. There is also the panda, same situation that you can use the graphite to trace the outline and then do the watercoloring inside, which this piece is really gorgeous. It came with the macaroons, which I actually did as my first test. So it comes with this little card that you can um, keep to, to, po to post in like your office or something like that. I think they're very, very cute. And then this is the one that I made. And the one that I'm going to be doing today is the purple sky. So what's great about this is that it doesn't include your basic round brushes that you use for watercoloring, but it does include the paint, which is a huge, huge deal. So the Watercoloring box, I believe it's $45. Uh, I just looked on the site and it's on sale for $35. And I'll tell you straight up that this is a great value for what you get. The paints come in this cute little box that says the good stuff. It's paint. And you can see that it includes all of the paints that you need. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on into it. Hey everyone, so here I am doing the video and I'm just picking out the different colors that I need, which is the magenta, the berry blue, the dandelion yellow, and the deep blue. And I'm also getting my brushes, which is a round two, a round five, and the fan brush. This brush actually came in with my box. I think that's because I got the three month subscription. If I'm understanding correctly, I'm not quite sure, but you can also get the brushes on their site. And I decided to make this a little bit easier on myself and I actually just split the watercolor paper in half. The kit comes with two watercolor, the 9x12 watercolor papers for each art that you do. So this particular purple sky came with two different ones and I decided to cut it in half. and. Um, Put some washi tape down so that I can go ahead and work on it. So the reason I put washi tape down as it was suggested in the tutorial is because then it creates somewhat of a clean line around your painting and you can always cut it down to make it straight. So that's why I decided to do that. And I'm just pouring out a little bit of the watercolor into my little pans. She uses a flat pan so that you can mix a little bit better, but I don't have any currently on me. So I just mix in that middle part. So I, I did this in sections. Again, she has an entire video doing a tutorial, so I'm not gonna talk about that too much. I do wanna talk about my experience with the box a lot more than I wanna talk about what I'm doing. 
Um, maybe in the future I can do a watercolor tutorial. Uh, let me know if that's something that you would be interested in the comments below. And if you would like me to do a watercolor tutorial, what kind of painting you would like me to do a tutorial of. So please let me know down in the comments below. So I'm using a large round brush here and so it gives you the type of round brush or like the type of brushes that you would need on the tutorial page where it gives you a lot of like the instructions and everything. So in this particular one it called for a round two and a round six. I think I said five earlier but it's a round six, my bad. Um, I just use the watercoloring brushes from like the basics collection at Michael's. It's from the Artist Loft um, collection. So I use those. They also have some on their website as well. And I did end up doing this a little bit lighter than uh, what was kind of called for. So I did that because I, I really wanted it to stand out and I am much more of like a pastel kind of person than I am like a really dark color. So I decided to keep the pastels and so it's kind of like the sun was setting and so you're looking up at the sky from in the trees and I wanted that pastel look and I really wanted to get that like lined gradient versus having like any sort of like cloud looking thing and one of the things I love about the subscription and her tutorials is that she really does give you the freedom to make it your own painting yes it is a tutorial and so you are making something based on someone else's artwork but she gives you a lot of leeway to uh, create your own um, your own moment with these I also learned quite a bit while I was doing the tutorials. So I am not a, a painter by any means. I, I have dabbled, but I am not even close to being an expert in, in painting. So I was really trying to figure out, like I was learning while I was doing the tutorial, which was a really kind of welcome change because I do a lot of like tutorial videos about my experiences and it was kind of nice to be the student. I do that sometimes when I like go on Skillshare or anything like that but this this video was in incredibly well done and I really appreciated it especially because I have actually never used a fan brush before so um, she talked a lot about how to use this fan brush Again, this came in my May subscription. So I'm just using the ends of the brushes as she suggested. She also suggested that you can do it straight up and down, um, just that you would need to be conscious of making sure that the bottom side of the tree gets wider um, because of, um, you know, that's how trees work. I really do love how this gradient works. Um, the colors I found to be really um, nice and saturated and I love that it comes in just like a little squeeze bottle instead of as like the little um, like the little palettes. I think that that's a really nice way especially given that it's a subscription kit it's a really nice way to include it in the packaging and the colors are really nice and I, I didn't notice this at first, but they have like kind of a little sparkle to them. So if I, like I mixed all of the colors together to get this black, it did not come with black. Um, and she talked about, you know, the justification and reasoning behind that, that it creates a lot more of like a color depth than just including black. 
and so that's a really nice way to just uh, create a, a lot of uh, color into your blacks as well by mixing the colors together. So here I am going like up and down. So she suggested that you can do like a little bit of both and then you like work your way out from there. So I'm trying a few different ways that she had suggested. So like I talked about a little bit more in the intro, I was really, really ple pleasantly surprised with how much you get in this kit. So I I think that it, it's a great value for the money, especially one box being $35. You get two sheets of watercolor for every single painting. You get the graphite paper to help you when it comes to like your larger um, shaped paintings. I didn't need it obviously here, um, but it was it's a great use for doing um, other things that like need a concrete outline. Like I mean, I don't know how many of you draw pandas every day, so maybe you're like an expert at drawing pandas, but I probably will not be. So the graphite paper is super helpful when it comes to that. It also included five different paints, and you can see me pouring out more paint. Um, I, I, it ended up being enough paint for all of my paintings. I was a little worried when I saw them that, you know, it, it was a little small, but, you know, in some paintings you need more than in other paintings. So I, I think it was really, it, it's very nicely packaged. Um, I love the creative box. It has all this uh, paint and art and brushes and um, palettes and things like that on the box, which was super cute. Um, and I just, I really appreciate that, you know, a small business like this put so much time and effort and care into how they package stuff. And this video is not sponsored, by the way. Um, I bought this with my own money. They did not send it to me. I just, I was just looking for an outlet to get a little bit more creative because I feel like I've been missing that a little bit. I've been getting creative just for the channel. And I thought that with the subscription box, you know, there's four different paintings in there. So I thought, okay, I'll just use one of them to do this video. And then the other three I can use on my own time doing my own thing and painting. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the next few videos. Um, because I did get the three month subscription. Uh, because this does give me a lot of room to uh, get creative. And honestly, it's something that I've really needed. Uh, to kind of break out of my shell. So I'm just putting like the finishing touches on some of these um, because I did all of the branches first um, you can kind of see the darker outline with those and I wanted to make sure that um, you know I kind of blended it a little bit more and then I just thought I would go in with this white jelly roll pen to uh, put some stars that like are kind of starting to be visible uh, because the sun is setting so I decided to go in there. Um, I did not make them very dark at all. This was something that I added onto the painting instead of um, it being part of the tutorial or part of the prompt. And so here you can see uh, the washi tape does a pretty good job keeping the lines. Some washi tapes tend to be better than others and I did not use the best kind of washi tape for this. But here you can see my finished product. and. Um, I did end up cutting it down on the sides because you can see it's a little wonky so I straightened things up a little bit. And then I did go back in with the bleed proof white. Um, this is my own uh, paint and just splatter a few more stars in there uh, with the white instead of the white jelly roll because I wanted just a couple that were a little bit bigger. And then I went back in and anything that got on the trees I just blended a little bit in with uh, my round one. So that's what I did. I hope you all like this video. Please let me know if you want any sort of uh, watercolor tutorials of my own uh, or 
And if you want to keep seeing these videos, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And that's it. That is my piece. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video. It really means a lot to me to create content for you all. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All that kind of jazz. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.